What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Quarry. So we're with... These guys uh, don't throw anything out, huh? Caitlin and Dylan. So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. So we're trying to find a part to replace the um, rotor arm that uh, Jake stole. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Fuck. Yeah, geez, you lost one arm. You want to lose another? Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Caitlin's my favorite, so I'm really nervous about keeping her alive. I don't know, though. It, it's hard. I really like Dylan, too. He's pretty cool. Something is watching us. And it's a little unnerving. Whoa, where are you going, Caitlin? She's, like, booking it for a second there. Okay, so anything intact is what I'm looking for here. <gasps> Hello? They must be must be motion censored. The rotor arm was a pretty small looking piece. What's all this on the floor? What was that? I'm looking for, um, cards, too. For the fortune teller. Oh my god, that scares me every time. This is a big area, so I think before I go in there, let me just look around. Oh, jeez. Uh, huh. Oh, it's open. Problem. Oh wait, is it? Oh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I didn't see a lock. Maybe in that house thing. Yeah, the, the house thing. All right, hold on, people. I gotta look for cards. Or she'll yell at me. Nothing, okay. Two levels. Hmm. Okay, that was easy. Documentary. No. Yes. Shut up. Come on. Let's go. <gasps> okay, wait though. I didn't realize that pushing one button was gonna like send me into the next area. I gotta look. We gotta. How come I don't have a flashlight? There's a whole upstairs area. Okay. Let me go around. I mean, look at all this stuff. There might be a rotor arm up here. Full moon. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. So they still don't really know what is going on exactly. I mean, I don't know fully, but 
I know a little bit more. SUV body damage. Keep this off Who's the tea? what? Mm -hmm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <laughs> Dodgy. You said it. What did it say? Hold on. How do I look at, um, was it evidence? Kaylee's letter, clues. I don't know what it was. Damage, charge, sheriff's badge. Is there like a section for the scrapyard? Scrapyard note. Scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here they don't want anyone to know about. Oh, off the books and out of the way. So that's sign T, which I forget his first name, but it's um the, the sheriff. So that could be um Laura's car, Laura and Max's car that they're talking about. Okay, let's go into the creepy scrapyard. This is not gonna end well. Okay, that looks dangerous. Maybe this way looks less dangerous. That also looks dangerous. Oh man. I think I'd prefer to stay out of the tunnels. There's so many paths to take. I really wish that I had a flashlight. Okay, this goes in like a circle. My god, the lighting. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! Sorry, that was... Scary. Yeah, that was jump scare. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? You both are bad. <laughs> I think Dylan's blood loss is making him delusional. Let's see. All right, I guess we'll let's just look around this whole area. Because what if there's a card? Mm, so far, so so good. I haven't run into anything deadly. I guess we'll go back and go in the little tunnel thing. Wow, look at all these cars just piled. So there was that way, this way, which I don't think I've been at all. Is it just me, or is it extra foggy here? Already regretting this decision. Oh my god, we're gonna get tetanus. Where am I? I actually don't know. Finally, something. Oh, I thought it was a card. Dang it. You think Brian's okay? He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. Um, I mean... I don't know about that. I thought this was the place. Where are we going? I kind of accidentally murdered their mother, I guess. So that's where I came from. Hold on. 
Although Caitlyn seems to be wanting to go that way. But I thought I came from that way. Yeah, I don't know if I made a mistake doing that or not. Or if there was really any other option. I don't know, but... Uh... Oh, here's a staircase. And here's a staircase. Choices. And there's a... Another staircase. Oh my god. I'm gonna get lost. At least the area is well lit. Hey, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, no, I want that. Judgment. Judgment Day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe survive. Okay, so a snap decision can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. I'm always a little unsure if the cards are actually helpful because... By me reading the card, it's making me maybe overthink things. And that could lead to me making decisions that, I don't know, are based on like me having very limited information. A discard, discarded signage. The torn and broken remains of old sideshow attractions, the way they're intertwined with the rest of the scrap, shows they've been sitting here for a long time. Huh. What's this? Aaron, that's, uh, Aaron. That's, our, Caitlin. that's our fortune teller. Caitlin does not care. All right, Caitlin, where are we going? You want to go up? Let's go up. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Where was that? It looked like a garage. I went up a staircase. Well, I, w I saw a staircase. And I also saw like a garage. Let me go back and try to find that. I don't know where we're supposed to find a rotor arm. I mean, how many people need rotor arms? I don't know why there are none in any of all this garbage. And I'm, like, super mega lost. Oh, you know what all this is? It's gas. I just realized. Gas mixed with the water. It's giving it that, like, weird rainbow kind of effect. Here's a creepy passage. Lord. I think. Is this a door? No. Okay, I think I need to go back around. I really wish I could run. And also see.
Okay, but we're back around. So this is the gate. I think I went through the far tunnel. Because I remember thinking I was going to get tetanus in my head. Okay, yeah. So through here. And then there was like a staircase and it looked like maybe an indoor, like a garage or something. I went that way. Let's go straight. I hope Caitlyn's behind me. Is this a new tunnel? Can't tell. They all look so similar. Yeah, okay, here's where I saw there was like a bunch of stairs. And I went up that one on the left. What's back here? Nothing, I guess? Okay. So here's a set of stairs, and I think there's a set of stairs further up, too. Oh, cutscene. Look. Hey. Is there a light on in it? I'm pretty sure that's Max's. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. <laughs> Kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that now. Yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? A grabber? That's awful. Um, anxious, can I have the gun? No, yeah, watch my back. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um... Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. I just realized I don't think that Dylan can even operate that gun. That's kind of like a- that's kind of a two-handed weapon. Alright. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we're working with. You'd think the right. rain would have washed all that blood off of him. Welcome back, Grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My God. Gosh. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Just set it down, real easy. That was easy enough, right? You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Why isn't Dylan leaving? Oh boy. Say something, Dylan. Warn Dylan. Or warn Caitlin. Yeah, let's warn her. Why would I lift the car? Oh my god. Oh my god. How? Slam car or sound the horn? I don't know. K 
Caitlyn. Oh my god, Caitlyn. What's that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. What do I do? No way. No way. No. No, not Dylan. Oh my god. Well, rip Dylan. And I just don't know what happened. I was hitting A. I should be I... a counselor at summer camp, Abby. You'll learn how to interact with people better, and you'll have loads of fun and make friends for life. Abby, Dylan just died. I'm so sick of people telling me. Oh boy. Wait, where are we? Me too now. Oh, that's right. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Um, when Caitlin and Dylan took off, what is that? Oh, it's just a reflection. When Caitlin and Dylan took off, they told Abby to go into that little trap door in Mr. H's office. My poor boy, do you see what they did to us? How they hurt us? He's still, he's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. But little Silas, my little white wolf, he must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time. What? That's like the story of what I assume is uh, the fortune teller. I can't see a single thing. Hold on. Where's my settings? Display. I have the brightness up already. I'm going to turn it up some more. It's just so dark. why the lights went out somebody took the fuses oh thunder must have come this way before he attacked us upstairs yeah see they still think the hunters are after them when really the hunters are just hold on this goes back back to Mr. H's office, I think. The hunters are just trying to... I mean, really, they're trying to protect the kids from the werewolves, but I... It sort of seemed like the hunters are hunting the werewolves, not the kids. Although I still don't really understand why, because I think the hunters are... Well, they're not werewolves, but, like, some of the family is. So, I mean, obviously, Chris is a werewolf, and I think they're all related. Okay, I guess we're going up the ladder. So this is the ladder where one of the rungs is loose, okay? This is probably important, right? Huh. Although, that looks... Trap door. Okay. That's creepy. Which one is it? Okay, so now it's actually broken. 
I see. So if I hadn't gone down here in the first place with Dylan, now it would only be... It would still be intact, but now it's broken, I think? I don't know. The Hackett family house. Okay, now we're Laura. Man, I am just so mad at myself about Dylan. I was pushing the button. Place is huge. Might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm yes. feeling pretty good, actually. She infected him. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? Oh no. boy. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. <laughs> sure. And another way out. Fine. Okay, you have to find Chris or you're going to be infected forever, too. I want to see these paths. Okay, view the path. So, so Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked. Max was concerned about Laura's well-being. And then Laura was sympathetic. Oh, there's more. Laura was supportive. And then I'm still missing one. How come I can't see above the law? Jacob removed the rotor arm. Minivan failed to start. Okay, then we got the rotor arm back. How did I... Wait. How did we lose the rotor arm forever? I don't remember that. Emma chose to take the fireworks. Emma set off the fireworks and then nothing. Abby came to Nick's aid. Nick appreciated Abby. Abby shot Nick. Abby offered Laura her bracelet to fashion it into a silver bullet. Okay. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood over Jacob's face. Ryan heard a rustling in the woods and didn't shoot. Jacob was captured by the hunters. I like how they look like old movies. Laura didn't shoot Travis when escaping her cell. Okay, that's all we've got. Hello, wait, uh... That's a thing. That's, um... Is that Chris? Should I be investigating? Watch your step. Yep. That does not look secure. What was that? I think. Why don't they see it? I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. No way. Ryan, hello? Okay. What in the world? So Lord. Oh no. Is his name Travis? I forget. Oh no! Oh god. Silver back mirror. A silver. Oh. Bobby! The gun! Wait. Who's who? Oh, okay, there goes Bobby. Is that. Laura? I'm so confused. 
Oh no, Jedediah. Ryan, do something, man. I don't know what, but... Uh... Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I think I just killed... I think I just killed Laura. But what choice did I ha Oh wait, that's Laura. Oh, I killed Chris. Or, yeah. Wait, so is it over? Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? Oh, uh, well, you know. What? I think this is over. Except that we murdered his whole family. This isn't over. Um. I, I don't understand. Chris is dead. Oh. Huh. Oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. I mean, yeah, Kayla. it is. Kaylee, the girl you killed, her brother. Her brother? What? Wait, Chris's son was the first? Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. The fortune teller's. The area, but we hope he come back so we could end this. The fortune teller's son, I think. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go. At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Wait, okay. I don't remember that. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. In what world would I help you, or why should I trust you? Let's be suspicious. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so... Where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Are we going werewolf hunting in our Can underwear? Someone please get me some fucking clothes? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, technically, I guess we're just helping him to help him, but... Our part is kind of done because now Max should be back you to normal. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? Yeah, I think her son. The son. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. So, 
to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned, a fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. The Hierophant. Where did you find this? Ooh, okay, this is important. Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what that did to us? Oh, I don't get to choose this time. I mean, I would have chosen... Six years ago. No. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What have they done? What have they done? Oh! What in the world? Okay. Oh, look. Okay. So... Somebody lit the whole thing on fire? Silas the dog boy. Oh, no. oh man. Silas, my boy. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh god. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay, that was close. <sighs> oh, wait, what? That's not Silas. She, okay, she knows Silas is still alive. Mommy's coming, Silas. Oh my god. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 This is so weird. This was only six years ago. I was thinking it was like a hundred years ago. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. 
Was she actually helping us, though, or was she just trying to get us to murder the Hackett family? The final girl. <laughs> Valid question. What? Oh, man. How am I going to get down? Well, that answers that question. That's an answer. Oh, you know what? So I think Nick is probably somewhere alive too. Oh yeah. And he is the one that killed Emma. God, I'm so so far for sure I've lost Emma and Dylan. Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. What, he didn't pack any clothes or what? Okay. Oh. <laughs> gotta find Laura. No way. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I would have just gone naked. Should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Looking good in them sweats. Oh, oh fuck! Oh man! You did this, Max. Oh no, he's going to see the evidence. Yikes. That's got to be... Um, I don't know what the word is. Crazy. I mean, he doesn't remember doing it, obviously. He had no control. But still, it was him. So there should only be one werewolf now. And it's the biggin. I'm so confused how Ryan said he saw a white wolf. I don't remember that at all. She must have come back. And we got the whole get up. Pink sweats, pink sweater, and the hat.
I guess her shoes didn't fit him. We're getting in the water? Oh, what do I want to do? Swim or stay? I mean, ugh, what? I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. I guess it's. Well, mm hmm. I'm conflicted. I, the, the other white wolf is probably over on the shore, and if I stay, I'm probably safe. But, I mean, I can't do anything here. I can't really help anybody. I don't know. Let's go. Okay. This better have a great fucking ending. <laughs> I also hope so. If he gets immediately eaten, I'm going to be very upset. No! You're kidding me. You are literally kidding. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. The whole game has been about saving Max and I killed him? Okay, let's just take a break before I kill Caitlyn too. I can't handle it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll try to keep Caitlyn alive. I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Hey, everyone. Brittany here with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you got to do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time for more.